This talk is about technology that goes under various names, emotional robots, affective computing, human-centered computing. But behind all these is actually the technology for automatic understanding of human behavior, and more specifically, human facial behavior. Human face is simply fascinating. It serves as our primary means to identify the other members of our species. It also serves that we judge other people's age, gender, beauty or even personality. But more important is that the face is a constant flow of facial expressions. We react and uh, emote to external stimuli all the time. And it is exactly this flow of expressions that is the observable window to our inner self, our emotions, our intentions, attitudes, moods. Why is this important? Because we can use it in a wide variety of applications. So everybody wants to know who the person is and what is the meaning of his or her expression and use that for various applications. When it comes to um, analysis of uh, faces in static face images, identification of faces, this problem is actually considered uh, solved. Similarly, uh, we can say for facial expression analysis in frontal view, videos that the problem is more or less solved. Uh, as you can see from these videos, uh, we can accurately track uh, faces in frontal views and even judge uh, uh, expressions such as frowns or smiles, higher level behaviors like intensity of joy or intensity of interest, even in outdoor environments. However, when it comes to uh, completely unconstrained environments uh, where we have uh, large changes in head pose and when we have occurrences of large occlusions, then uh, we, we are facing a challenge. Uh, we call this problem automatic face and facial expression analysis in videos uploaded in social media like uh, YouTube and Facebook. We have to collect a lot of data in the wild, annotate this data in terms of where the face is and where the parts of the face uh, are, and then build these multi-view models that will be able actually to handle these large uh, changes in head pose. We also need to take the context in which facial expression is expressed into account in order to be able to deal with the subtle facial behavior or with occlusions of facial expressions. So context-sensitive machine learning models are the future. Nonetheless, the technology as it is now is still very much applicable to a wide variety of applications. A good example is market analysis, uh, where we could use uh, the reaction of people to products and adverts in order to judge the successfulness of these products and adverts. The software is uh, commercially available by Realize, and we are working with this company uh, in order to include verbal feedback about uh, products and adverts as well, uh, and to build uh, another uh, tool for skill enhancement, such as conflict resolution uh, skills. Uh, another very important uh, field in which um, we work quite a lot is the medical field and we currently have the technology uh, available for automatic analysis of uh, pain and intensity of pain from facial expressions. We use this in physiotherapeutical environments but we could use that also for intensive care. Another important project for us is the European Commission project on uh, with work with the autistic children where we would like to help the kids to understand the facial expressivity of themselves and the others by using social robots with which they interact. These robots will have the camera which will watch them and the software that will mm -hmm. interpret this expression and give them feedback. In any case, once this technology really becomes mature and we can truly do face and facial expression analysis in the wild, we would be able to uh, have a lot of applications, such as, for example, uh, the system for analysis of uh, negotiation styles or managing styles, or simply measuring the stress in job interviews, in car environments, <coughs> in entertaining environments, and then increase the stress if people find this entertaining, or decrease it in order to increase the safety of the driver and the patient. So that's just to mention a few examples. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.